Hi, my name is Greg Gust, and uh, today I'm going to uh, show everybody how to rig the Gust Adjust uh, on a sunfish. Uh, the Gust Adjust is uh, very helpful in uh, depowering sunfish uh, either during the race or right before you start. Uh, I can adjust it uh, within one minute or 30 seconds of the start. So uh, no longer do you have to make a decision when you leave the beach. Uh, whether you're going to gin or not. And uh, most of the time when you make a mistake you have the gins in, you have to take it out. You have to take your entire rig down uh, out in the middle of the lake, uh, which is kind of dangerous sometimes. Uh, the, uh, and of course, everybody knows uh, when you can depower your boat, it'll go faster, easier to sail. Uh, some of the, the only equipment you need to do this is a 30-foot uh, gins line. Uh, this line uh, is uh, Amsteel. You can get that for APS or Ley Line or anything similar to this. It's a, a thinner diameter for less wind resistance. Uh, uh, this is uh, resistant to abrasion and also uh, uh, it doesn't stretch very much either. So make sure you get those qualities in your gins line, 30 foot. Uh, I like to tie a 16-foot uh, loop in the uh, end of the line. This is done with just an overhand knot, like this. And uh, I'll show you how to... Uh, this uh, mask comes with a uh, cleat on it, so that's what we're going to tie the gust adjust to, is to the cleat. If we didn't have the cleat, uh, what you'd have to do is tie it down to the uh, bullseye on the deck. And, and to attach the uh, to attach the uh, gust adjust onto the top of the mast, just a simple process of putting it through there and then uh, pulling the entire line through, and that will cinch it to the top of the mast. should look something like this. Okay. Now since your halyards are always picking up on the mast on the back side of the mast, you want to make sure your cleat is on the top here, side, and then what you do is you just pull these two lines with your two fingers, you just pull them apart like this and pull them to the back side of the mast. On the back side of the mast, this is where you'll put the uh, end of the uh, line for the gust adjust. And you notice uh, these lines are spread apart here. Uh, so you just stick your uh, stick the other end of the gins line or the uh, gust adjust with both of these uh, lines here, which you're holding. Okay, and that's all it is on this part. Now with the loose line, with your free line, I just pull through. What you're going to do with this is we're going to tie this to the upper spar in the gins position. Now I've tied the uh, the gust adjust onto the gins position, and uh, we're, we're all done with that right now. Uh, next step is to tie your halyard onto the upper spar in its normal position. Okay. And then we're going to take the halyard, the end of the halyard, and feed it through like you normally would through the top of the mass cam. You just pull that through like you normally would. Okay, and you pull that down about halfway, so you have both your halyards. I mean, your, uh, you have your halyard and your gusset just pulled down to the uh, position there. The next step is to raise the mast. Now you want to keep this uh, you want to keep this area here nice and tight. You don't want it to spread apart like this. You want it nice and tight so you'll have to kind of get it tight first and you want to keep pressure. You want to keep some pressure on that position so it doesn't spread apart again. Okay and then just stand your mast up. Without leaving any pressure.
pressure. I have to help the uh, boom up just a little bit to get it in position. Now, uh, once you get it to this point, what you want to do is tie one slip knot right here, right before the cleat. Okay, just around the horn once, and then through your slip knot. You'll just have a two one right here. Jiggle this, uh, pull up your boom a little bit as you do. There we go. Okay, you want to pull down very tight and cleat it on the cleat on the mast. Okay, so that's all you have to do to rig the uh, gust adjuster. That's done. Now, this stays on hard all the time. You never, you never take this off or leave the pressure on it. Okay. Uh, with this tail, you can do anything you want with it. We're just going to wind around here a few times just to kind of clean up the deck. Okay, so we're in that gentle position. Uh, okay, now with your halyard. What you want to do is bring it down through that bullseye. Bullseye, you always go from front to back, bow to stern, do this, so all the lines when you're pulling on stuff, there, there's less uh, friction there, it'll work a lot better for you. Okay, now once you get it in this position, uh, it looks like it's gins, gins quite a bit, what you want to do is tie it onto this cleat now. But before you do that, what you have to do is pull out some slack about this much. It's almost out to the rail, okay? Show you what that's used for later. Okay, so we got that far. Now we're going to rig the vang. So always front to back there. Now you can snack. Then what I do, I bring the uh, vang all the way back here. I go through the uh, shackle on your ratchet block. Slip knot right here for two to one. Now, if you bang, if you want to, you can use a four to one. Uh, but a lot of times, you'll have to pull the uh, one to relieve it. To let your bang off, you'll kind of have to pull out some of the uh, parts of the bang. Okay, now your bang is all ready to go. Put that here. Now, when I pull on the bang, what I do is I just wrap my hand around here, pull hard, and then I just jam it underneath the shock board. And most of the time, that's sufficient enough to keep the bang on. To, you can always cleat it, cleat it off or tie it off. Now, okay, now, what you need this uh, extra line here for, this is your how you're coming from the top. Now, if you can see, we're gins all the way. So, if, if I was sailing in heavy air and then the wind lightened up a bit, what I, what I would do is re just reach forward, get a loop here and pull this on hard, and then tie it off right here. There, there you got a full rig now. And then if I'm uh, sailing in, uh, if 
the race starts out in pretty moderate to, to moderate to light air. And I, uh, I've got to sail with a full rig. And then all of a sudden, the last leg gets very, very windy. So it pulls up to uh, 20, 25 miles an hour. Uh, I'll just, all, all I have to do to depower my rig is to lean forward and then uncleat this. And it'll fall right down to the gin's position.